Okay, I'm just uh, going to do a little video uh, regarding uh, using Google Docs. Um, first, I'm going to um, start up the uh, Internet Explorer. It should be around here somewhere. Okay, I'm running um, Google Chrome, but um, also another good program to use is Firefox. Uh, I have noticed that some there are sometimes you get a little few problems using um, Internet Explorer, and also sometimes you make you, when you open Google Docs you may get some language problem, um, and if that does come up I'll help you with that. So you see I've got a link straight away to Google Docs, which is very convenient. But you can go another way uh, if you go to the CQ homepage, which apparently has moved. Uh, we'll just go up here, Staff Portal. Okay, so I'm already logged in. So go to go to my portal. Um, and down here, you scroll down, you can see CQ University Docs powered by Google. And you click on that. And um, as I said, I've already logged in, but if, if you weren't logged in, you would just type in your work uh, login details to get into here. As you can see, I've got a lot of documents already uploaded. This is the home uh, display, which lists all the documents. Uh, it is useful to organize your documents uh, into folders. These are the folder names that I've created. Um, to create a folder is uh, pretty simple. You just go create new and they don't call them folder, they call them collections. So you can just say new collection, give it a name like um, test and OK and that folder's there. Now you can upload uh, documents to your test folder. Just press upload uh, you can upload a folder or a file. So this is the work folder I've got at the moment on my my desktop, my documents, 2011 to December. And um, I'll just uh, uh, hang on a second. Okay, so we hopefully are recording in. Yep. Now, so I'm going to upload a document. I've got lots of different ones here. Uh, we'll just try with uh, just a normal spreadsheet first. Open. And you've got the choice to convert it to a Google style document or a PDF file or just upload it as is. I'm just going to upload it as is. And it should be doing that. There it is there. Now usually you can click on these files and it will give you a preview. Sometimes you'll even be able to edit these files. So there's a preview of it. Uh, in this case you can't you can't actually edit it. Oh, it's got to edit online here. Maybe you can. Oh, okay, so you can you can actually edit it online. Uh, that won't always work. I think sometimes the docx format wasn't working for me last time I tried this. Um, now regarding sharing you can just go in here and press share and you just simply type in the names like say uh, Ray Ray Carney uh, and there's the email address and you can set his options whether just to look or edit and you can add a message saying hi Ray here <clears throat> and you go share and save and click that and it will send him an email and give him the link to that file. But I'm going to press cancel because I don't want to do that. Now if you want to go back to the main hang on a second um, if you want to go back to the main directory you can just press up here documents and that will take you back to the main directory. Uh, go back again to test. Another thing I want to show you is how to create a new document. Now you've got options here. Document or spreadsheet is usually what I use. Uh, I'm going to select spreadsheet. And it basically is a very simple uh, spreadsheet. <coughs> uh, it has form formula support. 
you can do formatting like uh, text alignment, um, change the text color, bold, you can change the text size, um, you can print the file out and you can also do things like freeze the rows, so freeze rows, freeze columns and you can also um, somewhere in here you can split it uh, view oh that's freeze rows which I just told you about and, and then when you've done that you can uh, download it as a Excel spreadsheet um, you can share it like I told you about um, and you can also uh, attach a copy. You can you can share it as a link as well. But that'll do for now. And you should give you give your file a name when you do that too, like "Hello, I am Simon," which is a silly name, but anyway, you get the point. All right, that'll do for now.